Here we've got the YouTuber, camera tech genius, and purple mega sensation, Gerald Undone. Since his original release on August 15, 2016, there have been many updates along the way, but none perhaps more important than his latest firmware update, DAD23. Naturally, I have been testing these features since the beta that was released last year, and I have some thoughts. Let's get undone. John is undone. He's crazy. What's happening, everybody? I'm John Castillo, and I'm Gerald Undone. You are not Gerald Undone. Stop copying me. So full disclosure, Gerald Undone did not pay me to make this review, no money changed hands, and the Undone team did not get to preview this before it posted. All of these videos were provided to me for free, but that being said, I will try to give my most honest opinion on the subject matter. This video does have an actual sponsor though, and that sponsor is Storyblocks. More on them later. So let's break this video down into two sections, the latest DAD firmware update, its features and quirks, as well as a comparison to the original firmware. So aside from the obvious DAD features, such as an additional sense of commitment and responsibility, one can expect ramifications which extend to DAD jokes and YouTube sponsor skepticism, both of which were visible during the undone beta period, with classics such as The Truth About Bananas and I Bought That Soap From Those YouTube Ads. I think it goes without saying, but I will say it anyways, that Mostly Nonsense series came out roughly nine months ago, which correlates with the beginning of the DAD beta. Personally, I'm a fan of this new direction as it breathes new life into the YouTuber, pun intended. In my tests comparing the current to the previous firmware, I found that there does not seem to be a substantial shift in technical performance, but rather the DAD feature is an add-on, which is always very welcome. Better yet, the add-on is free and does not require any additional input code or even a channel membership, which has been the case with other manufacturers. Naturally, I ran a side-by-side -side test between the newest and the previous firmware now that it's out of beta, and have gotten the following results. So here in the PAPA test, we can see that for the past year, there have been a total of 37 releases on the newest firmware, which if we compare to the previous firmware, we are looking at 32 releases. This comparison, of course, varies depending on the window selection. So for the purposes of this test, I went with a window selection of July 15, 2023 to 2022, and then 2022 to 2021 respectively. I do have to point out that this window does blend into the DAD beta, so further tests will be required down the road in order to ensure accuracy of this value. Though I must say that, so far, the technical to comical ratio does seem to be in the ballpark of what one would consider to be an add-on, and so I think we should consider it as such. For those of you already immersed in the new DAD firmware, but who would rather have five more videos of technical savvy as opposed to five videos of mostly nonsense, fear not, as you can always watch stock footage of camera equipment instead, using the sponsor of today's video, Storyblocks. Sometimes you don't have that video you need, and there's no way to get it recorded before you run out of time. Instead of frantically finishing that bowl of YouTube cereal and heading out for the day in a rush, you can use stock footage. And that's where Storyblocks comes in. They've got every subscription you need, which is free. Their vast, royalty-free library with unlimited downloads allows you to use the footage worry-free for personal and commercial projects. Again, this is absolutely free. The only caveat being that all videos are watermarked with the word sorry in Canadian. They're also focused on enriching their catalog with diverse and inclusive content to provide useful assets for creators with various needs and audiences. If you've never browsed Sorry Blocks before, I think you'll be truly impressed with how exhaustive their watermarked library is, and I encourage you to learn more about them using the link in the description below. Really? There's a link there, you, you should click it. To wrap up, I would say that this latest firmware is not only a natural extension of the Gerald Dundon catalog, but a welcome one to fans and gearheads everywhere, who could otherwise grow weary of the recurring camera gear motifs that have become so prevalent on this platform. By reaching beyond this discipline, the new update impregnates the undone spheres with more personality. Once again, pun very much intended. Hopefully we can look forward to more of these developments now that we're well past the beta and that other creators will follow suit. All right, I'm done. <laughs>